Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials uh, featuring mainly MATLAB, but today MATLAB and Excel. So really this is for students in my class. So we have Eastings and Nordings. And you can see here that we go down to, I think it's row 200, yeah, or row 202. So we have Eastings and Nordings right in and given the different GPS machines, we want to be able to remove the outliers. So we want to be able to remove the outliers uh, from the Eastings, remove the uh, outliers from the Nordings, uh, and then we want to get the tidy up data into column C and D, okay? So we have it there. It is possible to do it in Excel, but it's messy. So we have that data. I'm going to shut that down because I need to shut it down because when I use MATLAB, the data file cannot be open. So I can shut that. Uh, and I want to save the changes. Now, next thing is to get this to work, we need this function written by Brett Scholzen, delete outliers. Now there is a function available in the MATLAB statistical help toolbox, but not everybody has that. So I went to the MATLAB Central File Exchange and Brett is one of their star um, function writers. That'd be the best way of putting it. And he wrote this in 2011. And I'm very surprised about the 35 downloads because I know Brett's work is excellent. So just to give the full intellectual property credit to Brett, we're using that. And just one other thing here, just before we go, uh, you can add that function to a path, but just for today, uh, the Excel file and the function delete outliers are in the same folder. That's E code and DT112 Eugene data. So everything is there. So we're good to go. So I'm just going to maximize this here. So we're good to go and I'm going to run this and I'm going to comment on it. And I might just put in, just before we do anything here, I might just put in a little um, a section break there, just to ease things a little bit. So, okay, as before, we tidy up, we clear any variables, etc., etc., etc. So run in advance. Now in this here, uh, where the file name is data, uh, sheet one, and we're going from A2 to B202. We saw that before. I'm going to read it in using the command XLS read. And then the Eastings here is are all the rows. So colon means all the rows in column one. And the Nordings are all the rows column two in subset A. Okay. So, we've read them in. I run that section there. If I just go out to the command prompt, there's my who's here. And there we are. We have Easting and Nording read in 200 by 1. And subset A is 200 by 2. And we split that down into a 200 by 1 and a 200 by 1 for the Eastings and the Nordings. So just go back to the editor here, maximize my window, run this here, run this command, and this is where things get a little tricky. So we call the function delete outliers and the Eastings, and we return three outputs here. So we're going to return, this is the 200 with the outlier stripped out. This is the index, you know, you know, where they are, the index, and these are the actual outliers. And we're going to do the same here. We're going to delete outliers nording. So north out is the nordings with the outliers removed, the index to where the outliers were, and the actual outliers themselves. So I might just put in another little section break here just to do that. Let's run this lad here. Let's do 
see our command prompt here and you can see that entry 2 and entry 200 in the eatings were outliers so index 2 and index 200 they are identified as outliers which is the mean plus or minus three standard deviation so we're saying entry 2 and entry 300 lay outside the range the east in plus or minus three standard deviations and for the nording it was the first entry uh, lay outside the bounds of the mean plus or minus three standard deviations so what we need to do now is remember when we strip out the eastings we have to strip out the corresponding entry from the nordings and when we strip out the nording we have to got to strip out the corresponding entry from the eastings so if i just go back to mr excel here a second remember we said that value there index one uh, that's an, an outlier in the nording but if we get rid of that we have to get rid of a3 and if you remember the second entry into eastings that cell a4 was an outlier so we've got to get rid of the corresponding one in uh, b4 and remember uh, the same for the 200 entry into eastings we got to get rid of the 200 entry in the nording shut that down again So what I did there was I combined uh, the indexes. So that would be 2 and 200 for the easting, 1 for the nording. So that will give me 1, 2 and 200. And so if I just run that section here now, it's really to the end. And if I look at IDX total here. That's 1, 2 and 200. So I'm going to rip out uh, entry 1, entry 2 and entry 200 from the eastings. Entry 1, entry 2 and entry 200 from the nordings. Sorry about that. I maximized the wrong one. So remember the thing is done now. It's completed. So how do I delete? So I'm deleting entry 1, entry 2 and entry 200 from the eastings and that's just using that null there so that strips them out and likewise here uh, I'm stripping out entry 1, entry 2 and entry 200 from the nordings. I combine the stripped out easting and the nordings into a variable called combined. I don't actually need row 29 I was trying to be smart but didn't work. And then what I'm going to do is on this line here, I'm going to write to file name. Remember, that's data. The combined, that's the stripped out. Remember, combined is the stripped out eastings and the stripped out nordings. Two sheet one in uh, C3 to D199. Remember, three of them were stripped out, so I have to go to row 199. So if I go to Excel and now open the file, there's data. You can see here, if you remember before, column A and column B were the original data. Column C and D are the stripped out ones. So, see they're the same size. Just go down here a little bit. We've stripped out three entries. So, C and D are the cleaned up data. So, we could put in a little heading here. Uh, cleaned easting cleaned uh, nording just go back to my script and that's it I hope that helps a little and I hope I didn't go too fast and thanks very much for listening